हेलो वेलकम टू इनर जी पी एस गुरुज वाई इज कुंडलिनी डायग्नोसिस इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू कुंडलिनी इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल एनर्जी विच वेन अवेकन इन यू क्रिएट्स अ लॉट ऑफ टर्मोइल एंड सिंस यू आर इग्नोरेंट अबाउट इट्स प्रेजेंस यू मे सफर फ्रॉम अनवॉन्टेड इशूज happening on different layers of your existence kundalini diagnosis is the most important step in the kundalini awakening journey and that is why we have created the kundalini diagnosis coaching for you so that you do not suffer much if you are new to the awakening process and you are wondering that you will take it easy and one day at a time then let me inform you and warn you that kundalini will not wait for you in a passive way kundalini is the most powerful as well as dynamic energy which when awakens wants to do the processing faster it wants to burn all your karmas all your vasanas and all your vikaras faster and smoother so that it gets more time for you to express as a free individual the purpose of kundalini awakening is the divine mother shakti wants you to make you a whole and integrated shiva or the masculine power she wants to make you powerful man she wants to make you an integrated individual who is having both the elements of masculine and feminine energy in a balanced way if you are born in a male body then you need to balance both your masculine and feminine energy that is shiva and shakti energy during the kundalini awakening process and without proper diagnosis you cannot do so similarly if you are born in a female body then also you must balance your feminine and masculine energies shiva and shakti energy in an yang energy so that you become an integrated individual once kundalini completes its journey now let me explain you why kundalini diagnosis is important and how you can do it through us kundalini diagnosis is important because of the multiple variables involved in the process of awakening from the beginning of the journey from the awakening at the root chakra till the completion at the crown chakra what are these variables that play an important role in the entire kundalini awakening journey let's talk about the physical variables the physical variables involves your five elements which keep on changing as you live life the balance of the five elements the earth element at the root chakra the water element at your sacral chakra the fire element at your solar plexus the air element at your heart chakra and the space element from throat chakra to third eye and crown chakra and your aura that is eighth chakra all these five elements undergo changes 
that affect kundalini energy and which element is imbalanced in you needs to be diagnosed so that you can take the necessary steps to correct your actions in life so that kundalini can process well for example if you have any problem in your physical body you go to a medical doctor doctor and get yourself diagnosed at different levels you take up mri you take up x ray you take up ct scan and many other things you do in the process of diagnosis you test whether your vitamin levels or the blood sugar level or bp and many other factors which affect the body you take diagnosis of that so that you get the absolute treatment and you get healed likewise not necessarily all the time a particular sadhana or a particular meditation will help you in the kundalini awakening journey the multiple variables that i was talking about on your energy level includes the karmic blockages in you the vasnas vikaras means vices and tendencies that affect your mind that if, that creates a ego is the blockage itself so kundalini works on clearing your karmas and not necessarily all the karma karmas are burnt at the same time the karmas that you accumulate over millions of lives are cleared by kundalini at different levels you have kar karmic blockages at all chakra levels and kundalini without clearing root chakra karma blockages does not move up only after clearing the energies blocked energies at the root chakra kundalini moves up to the sacral chakra there she clears all the karmic blockages which are related to sacral chakra karmic settlements and likewise she moves up after clearing one chakra then to the other chakra and so on now while she is clearing your karmas there is resistance from the mind what is mind mind is the dense devil energy in you the negative energies in you that keep on resisting the work of kundalini kundalini is the divine shakti energy and mind is the mayavi energy or maya the energy of illusion or the energy of friction that creates obstacle in the path of kundalini now kundalini the divine and the maya the devil both fight for survival kundalini wants to keep you alive the life force kundalini wants to raise the consciousness level with each chakra blockages which clear with by clearing all the chakra blockages kundalini raises your level of consciousness the fight is between consciousness and mind the mind keeps on resisting the flow creating obstacle in the journey and kundalini keeps on killing the mind now you need to understand whatever comes from your mind from your ego in the journey of kundalini needs to be killed needs to be removed if you want to process the kundalini energy well but that is not possible without the help of a guru without the help of us the powerful kundalini masters you won't be able to lead in this journey because the power of maya is equally strong in terms of its density for example if you want water to flow through the river channel but it is obstructed by 
big rocks or icebergs like in the ocean this water cannot flow through the river channel river bed until and unless the force of water is too much too high kundalini keeps on forcing that to break the karmic blockages and remove all the obstacles created by the mind you have no idea at which stage kundalini is functioning in you you have no idea about what kind of steps you need to take to remove those block blockages so here we are to diagnose you well likewise there are again deeper layers of your journey you have a certain prarabdh prarabdh means your destiny whatever good karmas you have created in the past lives and whatever bad karmas you have created you have a result of that karmas ready to be fructified in this birth fructification means those are going to realize means if you got bad results then you will suffer if you got some good results then you will have good things in this lives you will be gifted you will be blessed certain things will happen in a good way now you don't know your prarabdh nobody knows except siddhas except us we are realized siddhas who have the power to read you read your energy ps read your kundalini energy read your consciousness read everything it is like x ray we ourselves are like satellites from that perspective you can understand that we are satellite and satellite knows where the gps is moving in the car and the satellite is connected to the gps similarly our power even we are at a distance whatever is happening in the world or in the universe we have a we have a direct access to that and we help you diagnose exactly where you are in your total evolutionary process where your kundalini is whether it is blocked in the chakras where whether your energy channels are blocked whether your panch prana is not functioning well there is constant prana combustion in the kundalini awakening journey and that creates lot of apana every day you when you sleep if you get sleep because most of the time those who are going through kundalini awakening they go through insomnia so my suggestion to you is whatever symptoms you are experiencing in your life get us get yourself diagnosed through us and whoever are suffering from schizophrenia chronic fatigue sy syndrome fibromyalgia multiple sclerosis bipolar and attention uh, deficit syndrome attention related any problem brain fog mental disorder depression anxiety stress insomnia then uh, not being able to function well in life totally disconnected from your existing environment having hallucinations and so many other psychotic episodes then do a favor to yourself by contacting us and getting diagnosed yourself first know that kundalini is powerful and you alone cannot do justice to your life and this entire process if you do not have anyone to help you you are in a quick send and we the masters we the guru are here to pull you from the quick send but if you do not take our help you will go deep 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 into quick send we are not creating any fear in you in fact we are warning you well in advance because there are multiple cases of suffering 
in the kundalini journey and without any one's help you feel isolated and hopeless so do not waste your time if you want to know more about it you can contact us you can get yourself educated you can get yourself informed and once the diagnosis is done you can take the necessary steps which we will suggest you based on your inner gps and the level of your kundalini journey that's all for this video if you have any questions regarding the kundalini diagnosis you can visit our website and also ask any question you have in the comment section we will reply to that rest stay stay blessed and remain hopeful because the process of kundalini may be difficult but the rewards are immense so if you want something big to happen to you due to your sadhana in the previous lives kundalini has awakened in you that is a good news but the challenging part is that you need to process it well to have its benefit thank you so much have a great day ahead that's all